if atoms are mostly empty space, then why does anything feel solid? The question itself is a little bit flawed because it has a couple of uh, ill-defined phrases in it. One of them is um, empty space, and one of them is feels solid. So for something like empty space, empty space um, at the atomic level is not the same thing as what we think of it as empty space when you, uh, you know, imagine, say, uh, planets revolving around a star. That's not what happens at the atomic level. Um, because in quantum mechanics, the electron does not orbit in a single elliptical orbit, but instead forms an electron cloud, where, you, where it's basically everywhere at once. So empty space is not empty space at the atomic level. Um, but maybe you're still dissatisfied with his explanation, because how can something as you know, lovely sounding as an electron cloud still make things feel solid? The first answer you might come up with is, ah, I know that electromagnetism is a force. I know that when two electrons get close together, they start to repel each other. Maybe that's sufficient to cause this sensation of solidness. Turns out that's not sufficient. I could, in principle, push hard enough to overcome the electromagnetic force. But at some point, quantum mechanics dives in again and says, no, 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 no dice. And it turns out that there's something called the Pauli exclusion principle because of a certain class of particle that the electron belongs to. It can't occupy, it's not possible for two electrons to occupy the exact same quantum state. This is the larger effect that, you know, so when I grab the subway pole, what's really happening is the quantum mechanics at the, at the atomic level is not making it possible for me to shove the electron clouds of my hand and the electron clouds in the surface, on the surface of the subway pole into the same quantum state. So quantum mechanics is a bit of a dictator in, the, in this, this capacity.